Video editing is an incredible skill to have because you can create a video on any topic, any subject, and reach a massive range of people, a wide audience that you would have never talked to before. And there's no better time than right now to get into it. Here at FX Home, we've made it super easy with our free video editor called HitFilm. Now, if you haven't watched my colleague Louise's video on how to download and install HitFilm, you're going to want to do that first so that you can follow along with us here. It only takes a few minutes and it's a great video, so be sure to check it out. So now that you have HitFilm, let's take a look at how to edit and export your first ever project. Now, when you first open HitFilm, this is what you're going to see. It's an example project. So it has footage, music, and sound effects all edited into a nice little montage so that you don't have to actually film anything yourself right away. There's a lot to take in, so let's quickly break down the software and explain what you're looking at. On the left over here is the Learn panel. So this is a new feature we've added that will help you learn how to use HitFilm. You're looking at dozens of tutorials on how to do things inside the software. So specific actions, tools, these are very quick, very bite-sized videos to help you understand specific things inside the software. You can hide and show the Learn panel at any time by clicking this switch here. So over here in the top right, we have the Viewer, which is where you see your final product. This is a representation of your edit on the timeline. Then we have the trimmer panel, which is how you preview your clips before adding them into your edit. To add your own pictures and videos in HitFilm, come over to the media panel. You can either click the import button here or drag your files directly from the file explorer. Exclusive to the subscription version of HitFilm is the creative library. This is a panel inside of HitFilm that allows you to have free assets for your videos. Music, sound effects, and motion graphics are all included. The process is the same for each of them. You can preview the asset if needed and click the arrow to download. Once it's finished, click the plus to add it to the media panel. You're now free to drag it onto the timeline. So in the example project, we've left a gap in the timeline and we did this on purpose so that you can fill it yourself. Over here in the media panel, let's select the clip called skateboard. It'll become active in the trimmer and I can find a good section of the clip and set my in and out points. The in point is where the clip will start and the out is where it will end. It's good to set these beforehand because otherwise the clip will be too long when you drag it down to the timeline. Now that it's in the edit, I can adjust the length by dragging the ends. You can turn off the snapping action by clicking this icon here. So now that we're finished with the edit, we're ready to export. This means rendering the video into a more common format that can be played and uploaded online. You can export through either the toolbar up top or this icon closer to the timeline. Let's set the default preset to YouTube 1080p, which is a pretty common format that should work for pretty much everything. Now select export to file. Navigate to where you'd like the video to be stored, give it a name, and hit save. The video will be exported to your computer and is now ready to upload and share. Remember to check out the Learn panel for more info on using the software, and visit the link in the description to download HitFilm right now for free if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.